We're on the hunt. The hunt for a death-defying water source on behalf of Wiggy Silverbottom. I'll explain all of it in a moment, but for now, let me welcome you to Rock Paper Shotgun, and more importantly, to Pebbly Island, the name of Two Point Hospital's latest DLC, and also home to three new hospitals for you to get up to shape. Wiggy Silverbottom is a huge germaphobe who has more money than sense and likes to go exploring in his spare time. He wants to discover the secret to eternal life and is scouring Pebbly Island, with the use of your expert hospital management skills to find it. I've been playing for the last couple of days and I think it offers some of Two Point Hospital's best challenges yet, which I'll be covering in this video. Before we delve too deep into the secrets and twists of Pebbly Island, please do subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun and like the video if you enjoy it. It lets YouTube and us know we're doing good things that people like to see. Pebbly Island is the second DLC for Theme Hospital's spiritual successor, Two Point Hospital. It brings new surprises and new challenges. From the tropical but unpredictable and harsh weather to frogs falling from the sky, it's sure to keep you on your toes and keep you interested throughout. It also comes with 34 new illnesses, including Sandy Crack, Beach Whale, Heat Wave, Hermitism, False Tan, and Budgie Struggler, 10 of which are full new visual illnesses, three new treatment rooms, and a bunch of new items that match the setting. None of the new hospitals play the same way, so if you felt you were getting burnt out playing Two Point, and if you're a bit worried because the Bigfoot DLC didn't bring that much by way of new things, then Pebbly Island will breathe a breath of fresh air into Two Point County. That breath of fresh air will soon be knocked straight from your lungs when you realise the absolute treats Two Point has in store for you. Throwing you into the deep end with the hot, hot heat and lack of medical licence at the first hospital, Pebbly Reef, you quickly realise that Wiggy is a nightmare to work for. He's decided you're only going to be able to employ random people, who he has once offered jobs to without thinking it through, as janitors rather than anyone who knows what they're doing. So it's clear from the get-go that Pebbly Reef will be heavily focused on training up these civilian janitors to get them to tip-top shape. The hospital is also a complete mess, and with various quakes, storms and frogs falling from the sky, no amount of cleaning will ever make this hospital feel clean. It makes my skin crawl just thinking of the state of this place. It's a hospital that's set on the beach, with boardwalks and decking all round, so it doesn't feel too dissimilar from popular holiday location Grockle Bay, but it is a much harder hospital to deal with, and the unlocked plots end up being pretty far away from each other. This doesn't sound like much of a problem when I say it like that. Oh, it's on a beach. There are nice boardwalk strolls between each plot. It's a nice and warm location. But remember what I said about the absolute nightmare weather. Running between reception and the fracture ward in a lightning storm is never going to be fun, whatever the location. To get your medical license at Pebbly Reef, you just have to hire three janitors and pick up 100 bits of litter. Sounds easy enough, right? Of course it does. But the real challenge comes when you need to get to a one-star hospital. You have to train up 12 janitors, or train the same three janitors four times, have a cure rate of 70%, water 40 plants, something I can't even get right in real life, let alone in Two Point, and cure 10 patients of the new illness Blank Look. Blank Look is one of the new visual illnesses where your patients come in with a case of the old Slender Man face. I guess there was copyright on that name. And it's down to you to use the new indentification room to coax back their faces with a really heavy looking piece of hydraulic machinery. Ouch. If you found it hard having to skirt around falling frogs and training up your janitors from average people into super janitors, then how do free plots sound? Yep, that's right, for the small price of free, you can unlock new plots in the hospital known as Overgrowth. Only not quite. The trees of the forest are asking you to complete challenges for them in order to expand your hospital. 100 days without a death? That sounds near impossible if you ask me. But getting the hospital to a decent temperature? That seems easy enough. Air conditioning is a must all across Pebbly Island. And thankfully you'll soon get your hands on some nice ice sculptures that not only spruce the place up, but cool the place down too. This hospital is all about choosing the plots you think you can unlock. 30 human sacrifices? Sign me up. It's a smart way of setting your own pace to achieve a one-star hospital. All you need to get that one star is unlock 10 plots, and to get those 10 plots, you set the goals. It makes you think a little more and encourages you to use everything you've learned so far to get where you need to be. Overgrowth is also the hospital where you get to uncover another new visual illness known as Wanderust. Nope, I haven't said that wrong. It's an illness where those who have had prolonged feelings of sameness get bored and start craving adventure. The way to cure these patients really puts the treat in treatment room. Hey! Huh. 
It's called the Escape Room and it puts your patients through the test of surviving an Indiana Jones-esque piece of set design with real consequences. It is an absolute joy to watch them avoid a massive boulder and nearly fall through a breaking floor as they scurry to the end only to be stopped by spikes. Who knows? With that nurse at the control panel, one can only assume the success rate is low. But it's fun to watch nevertheless. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Overgrowth Hospital is entirely outside. It's just hanging out in the jungle. Minor detail. Which means it has completely different walls and my dreams have come true, with every room looking the same on the outside. Unlike the regular hospitals, I think this is my favourite hospital for that reason alone. You have to battle the trees to expand your hospital and plots unlock in a completely new way. They attach themselves to the existing hospital in a way that means you may accidentally block off a potential future walkway with your new injection room. Architectural nightmare. Luckily, because this hospital is outside, your patients can just wander out the boundary and back in again to get where they need to be. I found myself really enjoying Overgrowth as it gave me reason to put everything I'd learned into the one hospital, and it felt refreshing to be able to do my own thing, in a sense. The brief was vague enough that I could essentially do what I wanted to achieve the end goal set out for me. Topless Mountain is the final hospital you'll have to deal with on Pebbly Island. It's where Wiggy and his team will be excavating nearby ruins as you try to build a fully functioning modern hospital in an ancient setting. Only there's a catch, obviously. It's a very hard hospital to get to, where patients who have got this far up the island tend to get sick quite easily and big groups all turn up at once. You could call this waves, you could call this hordes, whatever you call it, I call it a paperwork nightmare. To get Topless Mountain to one star, your task is to keep your cure rate above a set percentage before the next wave comes, and you have to complete 10 waves. You start out with a group of 10 people arriving and each wave increases by 5. That's a lot of patience and a lot of grossness going about your hospital. It seems like it would get pretty grim there and I soon started feeling a lot like this dolphin. I'm pretty sure these dolphins are meant to have water coming out of their mouths, not their eyes, right? Why are they crying? Who hurt them? Am I that bad at hospital management? In Topless Mountain Hospital, there are also people walking around with giant eight balls instead of heads. It sounds like something from a horror film, but really it's just a new illness called Screwball, where you have to use the new correcting pool room to fix it. A machine called the auto cue will knock the patient's ball right off their shoulders and will proceed to give them back their original head. Imagine if they accidentally gave you someone else's head instead of your own. The new illnesses that come with Pebbly Island are humorous to say the least, but would we expect anything less from Two Point? Sandy Crack, the illness, just to clarify, certainly made me double take. And I absolutely adore the look of the budgie strugglers. I, uh, <clears throat> I, I need to make sure I'm saying that properly. Budgie strugglers. We expect the strangely named illnesses, but it's these other exciting twists and turns that we don't usually expect from Two Point that make this DLC feel really alive. I found Topless Mountain to get a bit repetitive, duh, it's a horde mode, but it kept it exciting by the slow uncovering of illnesses. My favourite hospital to play is Overgrowth and it will continue to be my favourite until they bring out an update allowing you to change the colours of the outside of rooms. The outdoorsy nature of this whole hospital and having to appease the trees is a fantastic change from the usual box-in feel of the other hospitals. Pebbly Reef is a good setup for the type of manager you're dealing with and for someone with such low standards, it's surprising I can never seem to please Wiggy Silverbottom on any of his site visits. What am I doing wrong? Do I need to put down more of these plastic pink bird statue things? I really enjoyed the challenges Pebbly Island threw at me and I like to think I handled them quite well. Apart from on my first playthrough of Overgrowth, but we, we won't talk about that. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun for more Two Point Hospital coverage. We have a video comparing Project Hospital and Two Point Hospital and also a video on Two Point Hospital's Bigfoot DLC where I talk you through everything you can expect to find in it. We also cover a whole array of different management games, so be sure to check those out too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!